Hello, my name is Travis and I am the owner and founder of Nodespace Hosting. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to launch a WordPress site on our new NVMe hosting solution. So first thing you'll do is go to nodespace.net, go to hosting solutions and click on NVMe web hosting. And right away you're going to see that we have four plans to choose from. We have our starter, basics, essential, and plus. Uh, we found that most people usually go for our basics plan, which is $8 a month. This includes 20 gigs of space, 600 gigs of bandwidth. You get one add-on domain and five park domains, and you get all these other features included as well. If you want to see the technical uh, comparison between these plans, you can click on compare these plans. It'll take you to the bottom of the page where we uh, see the different uh, options that are available. Uh, you'll notice that the starter plan just doesn't have any add-on or domain aliases and it's also limited in the amount of emails and resources available. So this is a great plan if you're just getting started or you don't know how popular your website's going to be. You can always upgrade a package at any time and you'll get the new resources immediately. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the starter package just because I don't know how popular my site's going to be and I can always upgrade later. And one thing I do want to point out is that we include the WordPress Toolkit Deluxe in all of our shared web hosting plans. So whether or not you're launching a WordPress website, you're going to get access to the WordPress Toolkit Deluxe version. And this is uh, an upgraded uh, version of the WordPress toolkit that other web hosting companies will actually sell you. So we include it for free. We would normally charge $15 a month for this, but it's included absolutely free. So just go ahead and click on order. And then you'll have to choose a domain, or if you already have a domain, you can uh, enter that option here. So if you don't have a domain yet, you can register a domain. We have a bunch of different TLDs available, and you can see the pricing for those as well. Um, if you go to store and then register a new domain. If you would like to transfer your domain in from somewhere else, you can just click on transfer. And if you don't want to move your domain, but you just want to use it with our web hosting, just click on I will use my existing domain and update my name servers. So I already have a domain and I'm going to go ahead and type it in. And click on use. All right, so here's our plan. You can see that it is $5 a month. So I'll click on continue. If you have a promo code, you can enter it here and click on validate and that will automatically take uh, either percentage or dollar amount off. In this case, I don't have a promo code, so I'm just going to click on checkout. All right, so now I need to either create an account or log into my account. Since I don't have a Nodespace account, I'm just going to go ahead and register. And once I fill out all this information, I can come down here and put in my credit card number or I can also use cryptocurrency. And if you'd like to join our mailing list, you can just select this option right here to say yes. And I promise you when I say we are a low volume email list, we only have a monthly newsletter that we send out and it's around the first week of every month. And that's it. Like I'm not even kidding. Um, that's the only promotional emails you will ever receive from us. So if you'd like to sign up, that's awesome. If not, that's also fine too. I totally understand. And you can always sign up or unsubscribe at any time. And then complete your order. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to put in my information and I'll come back to you in just a second. All right, now that everything is paid, I can go ahead and check my email. And you'll see here that I have several emails. First off, we have an email address verification, and then we have our uh, welcome email that includes our account information. And then we'll see our order confirmation and invoice confirmation. And shortly, we should see our new hosting account information. But first, let's go ahead and verify our email address. So I'll just click on this link, and our email is verified. So now we'll go to the client area.
All right, and in here you can see we have one service and it's currently active. So if we click on it, we can see everything about our account. Now you'll see here that our usage statistics say that we have zero megabytes used out of unlimited megabytes. And that's because we actually use soft limits. That means if you go over your allocated bandwidth or your allocated disk space, you're actually only charged for an overage and it's just a few cents for every gigabyte used. And that's because if we set a hard limit, you would not be able to upload any files, you wouldn't receive any emails, and your website would just stop working if you hit those limits. So we decided that it would be better to remove those limits and just give you a little bit of an overage charge, which means that your website would not go down at all and would still be accessible. So if we click Log into cPanel, we'll be taken to cPanel. And you can see that right away, we're given an opportunity to get started with WordPress. So you can create and build your website with WordPress. So let's do that. All right, our website is now ready to go. WordPress is installed. But before we do anything, we need to update our name servers. So let's check that our email again. There we go. Told you it takes a minute. So if we click on new account information, you'll see that we have our username and password for our control panel. And we also have our name servers. So in this case, we need to update our domain to point to ns1.nodespacehosting.com and ns2.nodespacehosting.com. Your actual name servers may vary based on the server that you're placed on. So I will go ahead and update my domain real quick by logging into my domain registrar and setting the name servers. All right, I've gone ahead and updated my name servers. So they are pointing and I double check to make sure that they have propagated and they have, so we're all set. So let's click on preview your site. All right, there we go. There's WordPress up and running. So let's switch back to cPanel real quick. Let's go ahead and click on add content. And here we go. This is the WordPress toolkit with the deluxe features. So if we go here, you'll see that we have the ability to install some updates and it looks like we have some updates that need to be applied. So we'll click on this and let's update the plugins. All right, look how easy that was. All of those plugin updates were done. We can also enable or disable search engine indexing, debugging, password protection. We can enable hot link protection, which prevents other websites from directly linking to your images or any other content that you have. They can still link to your website, but they won't be able to pull uh, content or embed content from your website into their website. Uh, you'll also notice that critical security measures have been applied. And if we click on this, you can see uh, what we have. Uh, so some of these have not been applied yet. So if we click on this, uh, applying the security measure is recommended for WordPress website security. You can revert the measure. And this blocks access to the HT access and HT password file. Um, we can turn off pingbacks. We can disable file editing and so on. Let's go ahead and enable these because these sound like good features to have on our WordPress site. And we'll click on secure. All right, our WordPress site is secure. Let's click on check security. All right, looks like everything is good. If we check under WordPress vulnerabilities, we can run a vulnerability scan or a scan will automatically run. But since this is a brand new site, we know everything is good right now. So we'll go ahead and close this. Now let's go ahead and install a new theme. So if we click on themes, you can see that we have three different themes installed and we can activate or deactivate as well as activate or deactivate auto updating. Well, let's go ahead and install a new theme. So I'll click on install. And if I scroll through here, 
I can see all the different WordPress themes available. And if I have my own theme in a zip file, I can click on Upload Theme and upload it directly. Let's see. I kind of like this one. Let me preview it. Oh yeah, this is a really nice theme. I'm going to go ahead and install this on my site. So I'll just click on Install. All right, the theme was installed. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's take a look. Oops, I forgot to enable it. All right, the theme's enabled. You'll see we have a live preview. Let's go to the website and refresh. And there it is. There's my new theme. Awesome. Now, if I go back to cPanel, I'm pretty much done for right now. See how easy it was to get up and running with a brand new WordPress website? powered by Nodespace and in the WordPress toolkit. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to hit us up on our website, nodespace.net, or you can ask us pre-sales questions at sales at nodespace.net. Hope to see you soon.